Let me double check. What's up, dudes? Let her draw back. That's the sound of a freshy boys freshy what's up dudes juicy mike coming at you again with another video on a stocky and i'm at the lot but i rode here boys i rode here and i'm the only one here again i don't know why i always pull up here first i'm just gonna take my time next time i thought there was gonna be somebody here but there's nobody here but it's all right that gives me time to talk with you guys and uh well hopefully you guys don't get a lot of air wind or wind noise because if you look at that <laughs> looks like it might rain later it said 30 percent chance hopefully that 30 percent goes that way we don't want it to go this way i live that way so definitely doesn't want to go that way don't go that way go that way anyways boys juicy mike oh okay a lot of little juice juicy mike oh 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 <sighs> Juicy Mike out here with you boys. Oh, hold on, boys. If you guys have a stock EFZ, boys, with stock sprocket, dude, this right here is the best feeling ever. Oh, when you just drop back and you just let it just coast without even the, you don't even need to pull the clutch in, bro. The engine brake just does it. No foot brake, nothing. Just watch. Hold on, I'm in first gear. First gear is a little snappy. It, it has more engine brake. Second gear though, oh, it just, it just wants to sit back there, boys. Look, watch. Oh, no clutch. Oh, Jesus, dude. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's just, that's like porn to us stunt riders, dude. That, that, oh, it just, it's just so it's a good feeling when you're able to just drop the bike back and let her just just sit back there just let her freaking eat and then whenever you can add some flair to it like like just a, a little bit a little bit of that it gives it just an extra <laughs> anyways boys I figured I'd make another video for you guys because I'm on a freaking streak, boys. I've been posting every month. Every damn week I have a video as of now. We're not talking the future, but I've been hooking you guys up with some videos. So, I was at home doing nothing, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and get a video, guys, for you guys. And this one's more for you, uh, beginner guys that are starting off on a stocky and you think you need to build your bike I say you don't but don't listen to me I'm just Mike let me give you an example boys this is a 2016 or 2017 2016 2017 um, FZ07 completely stock Hold on, let me make sure I'm recording all right she's completely stock just look at her there you go She's completely stuck other than a custom exhaust that some guy made and I just left it on there. And it dangles a little bit. <laughs> I, need, I need to tighten her up. But anyways, this is a completely stock FZ07, boys. And she has stock brakes, steel braided line. Ignore that, you don't need it. I don't want it. I just had it and I didn't have a stock. But I totally would definitely run a stock line if I could. This is necessary though if you guys are going to do sit downs or any type of stunts get you a built seat please but you don't need it i just personally need it because this thing will make you slide especially with the stock seat you'll slide back and then the stock seat is like right here so this holds you in but this is my setup boys i've been stunt riding for going for four years now and uh i don't have anything crazy on it if you are starting this season, or you're on a Grom and you're moving up to a bigger bike, say an FZ07, which is what everybody runs nowadays, I say all you need is maybe some cages, 
definitely get a 12 bar because you're gonna loop at one point I'm not saying you will maybe you're just lucky and you never do but everybody even the best falls so I would recommend the 12 piece because if you go too far back this to here is gonna get bent up all your beautiful plastics are gonna be broken and it's uh these aren't cheap plastics aren't cheap I did the I did all these brand new uh, they're about 300 bucks they're cheaper consider considering other bikes that are about five to a thousand dollars but they aren't cheap if you're just gonna play around and especially if you're buying OEM but all you really need for an FZ07 I'd say cages you don't even have to do nothing to the motor the only thing I would recommend doing to the motor is changing your oil that's it make sure you stay on top of it top it off a little bit I run Rotella T6 I run it on every bike I have but other than that you don't need no oil pickup mod you don't need an air box you don't need any of that boys all you need is uh your toll bar your cages if, if you decide to get cages and that's it this bike from factory is ready to go boys if you get a Cowie I don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure you got to do an airbox mod on those and I don't know I'm not a hundred percent sure if you got to do an oil filter or an oil pickup line like a Grom kind of I know some people do I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure but I know you got to do an air filter mod um, there's a couple stuff that you got to do on a Cowie before you can really stunt ride it you can willy it here and there but if you're really holding those 12 o'clock willies you'll definitely mess something up if you don't do that stuff I know that because there's a couple people that run new gens and that's what they do but I could be wrong you'd probably get away with it running stop um, but these bikes are mostly ready to go from factory boys like you can literally get on one of these and you just give it a good little pump on the brake and just go to a lot if you already know what you're doing just go to a lot and you can just rip her dude she's ready to go from factory there's not very many bikes that you can do that groms are one of them that you can pretty much just on the go get on it and take it straight to the lot but fz's are really really good bikes for stunt riding for that reason because they're from factory ready to go you don't have to do nothing crazy if you're learning that's when you really gotta uh, maybe buy some stuff if you're um, starting to learn and this is the bike you want to learn on I would recommend getting cages you don't need a handbrake a lot of people say you need a handbrake I don't have a handbrake on this one I learned the good old foot brake and one thing that my boy Adam said the other day that will probably forever to stick to this cranium of mine is you drive every day pushing the foot brake you when you're driving you press gas and brake gas and brake it's already in your head you just got to kind of realize that so when you're learning boys you already know what to do is obviously you're not going back and you're not going to fall in a car but it's already there it's in the, it's you already got the muscle memory you just got to kind of get her down but fz07s from factory they're ready to rip i highly recommend it i recommend everyone here in kc that just starting out to get an fz because these bikes not only are they good for <coughs> not only are they good for basic willies but they're good for advanced willies too so a lot of people they don't like it necessarily for circles a lot of people don't like these for circles but i can circle these a lot of people here can circle these and i personally like them because of the torque so it has so much torque that you don't really have to give it too much gas you just gotta uh, uh, uh. but if you watch on my other bike on my fully built fz um you can see it's you can do it boys so these bikes you can go from the most basic level all the way to the highest level you can get to obviously circles um are i would recommend doing them on a six or six there those are a lot better to do the idle pulls a lot better the four cylinder baby but they are doable you can do them on fz's so these guys these bikes are good from the beginning level all the way to the top when i first learned on this i learned on a I learned on a Grammy. From a Grammy, I went to a 636, and then from a 636, I went back down to a, 
FZ07. And the reason I did that was because I did not trust a 20 year old bike. That thing was a freaking, uh uh, I don't trust those old bikes. All right, go look at you some Willys, boys. Hold on. But I've learned everything on my FZ. And I don't know, it's like these bikes, you've learned so much so quick just because they give you that confidence. Here. They feel good. The motor, it's it's there. You don't have to fight the willy. It's always there. The only bad thing when you're learning with these is they have a lot of they have a lot of torque, so you gotta get used to that. You don't wanna these things will come up quick. It's not like the cowies where you're scared, you give it gas, it doesn't come up, give it a little bit more, it barely comes up. No, these you barely give her the beam. And she's up there, boys. She's up there. And this is about, I'm giving her about 10% gas right now. So, it's not a whole lot of gas you need. That's why they make, that's why they call these easy bikes. And I think they're easy bikes as in, they will make you the best, the quickest. Because they're, you, you get so confident on these, which could be a good thing and could be a bad thing. If you get too confident on these, they can hurt you. These things will get out of your hands that quick. At the end of the day, do I recommend FZ07s for your first stunt bike? I do. Do you need a whole lot of money to start off with these bikes? No. If you already know the basics and you're thinking of getting rid of that old bike you got, go get you one of these, put a 12 bar on it. If you already know what you're doing, just take it to the lot and just give her some beans. Have fun with her, boys. Just make sure you got oil. That 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 message is from Bash. He he he, he came on here and he said, "Bro, just make sure it got the oil. That's all you gotta. That's all you gotta do. These bikes will keep you happy. They'll keep you going. They'll be reliable. You just gotta make sure you put oil in it." <laughs>